Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 24th of May. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Today we are going to celebrate John and Charles Wesley, evangelists and hymn writers. So, a little bit of information about John and Charles. Born at Epworth Rectory in Lincolnshire, John Wesley was the son of an Anglican clergyman and a Puritan mother. He entered holy orders and, following a religious experience on this day in 1738, began an itinerant ministry which recognised no parish boundaries. This resulted, after his death, in the development of a worldwide Methodist church. His spirituality involved an Armenian of affirmation of grace, frequent communion, and a discipled corporate search for holiness. His open air preaching, concern for education and for the poor, liturgical revision, organization of local societies, and training of preachers provided a firm basis for Christian growth and mission in England. Charles shared with his brother John the building up of early Methodist societies as they travelled the country. His special concern was that early Methodists should remain loyal to Anglicanism. He married and settled in Bristol, later in London, concentrating his work on the local Christian communities. His thousands of hymns established a resource of lyrical piety, which has enabled generations of Christians to rediscover the refining power of God's love. They celebrate God's work of grace from birth to death, the great events of God's work of salvation and the rich themes of Eucharistic worship, anticipating the taking up of humanity into the divine life. John Wesley died on the 2nd of March, 1791, and Charles on the 29th of March, 1788. So that's a little bit of information about John and Charles Wesley. So as I attempt to share my screen, we take a moment of quiet. And when I do manage it, the words you see on screen in bold are for you to join in with should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just let the service float over you and enjoy. Slide show. And I will get it from the beginning. There we go. Tonight it is uh, BCP night prayer. Because that's all John and Charles would have known. And apparently also the 24th of May is a rogation day. So let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. We take another moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring all our concerns to God. And we say together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. 
Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we listen to the Convivium Singers singing before the ending of the day. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye blaspheme mine honour and have such pleasure in vanity and seek after leasing? Know this also that the Lord hath chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart and in your chamber and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. 
There may be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart since the time that their corn and wine and oil increased. I will lay me down in peace and take my rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13. Now the God of peace, that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Do we listen to Margaret Ritz's version of Keep Me as the Apple of an Eye? Thank you. 
Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. So now we listen to the Song of Simeon.
Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. For the peace which comes from above, let us pray through the Lord. Keep the church in peace and draw all believers together into one and broken love. Guided by the Holy Spirit, may her ministers proclaim the gospel by word and example. Grant peace to the world, peace among nations and races, peace in the hearts of all people. Bless those who hold authority and incline their wills to seek peace and to maintain it. We pray that the Lord may be with us and make his home in our homes. Keep us in love and respect for all those who are near to us in family, work or friendship. Give to all in this community the blessing of peace and harmony. And we pray especially for all those who live or work in Hallerton Grange and Hazelcroft in Kingsbury, St Edmunds Road in Hurley, Smith Street in Woodend, and Crow Lane in Merivale with Bentley. Have mercy on all who suffer where peace is broken, on the victims of war and violence. Have mercy on those who experience domestic violence. Grant that love shall prevail and drive away anger. And we pray especially for those who have asked for our prayers at this time. We pray for those who have passed through death from the troubles of this world, including Stephen Hawkins, Anne Lewis, Gillian Lees, Pam Pitts, Kenneth Dorr and Kathleen Fletcher. Receive them into the peace of eternal life where their Lord has gone before. May our prayers be heard through Christ, who gives us his peace. And the collect for John and Charles Wesley. God of mercy, who inspired John and Charles Wesley with zeal for your gospel, grant to all people boldness to proclaim your word and a heart ever to rejoice in singing your praises. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. 
as the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday, the 24th of May. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday. In the meantime, take care. God bless. <laughs>